Hey, my friends, it's me. It's Ken. We're doing that thing at the Affordable Art Fair. So yes, we have seen a recent friend, Tanya Wedemeyer Gallery. You might remember one of my videos that I was doing another adventure and I recorded what her work uh, was being shown at her gallery over at Industry City. And Tanya's off on some missions here at the show. So I'm gonna talk to Deja Canton from the gallery and she's gonna talk to me all about the artists here today at the Affordable Affair. Hey, what's up Deja, how are you? So take me through the gallery that's being presented by Tanya uh, right now. We've got Moses Salahu. Tell me about Moses. So Moses, he is a Cameroon artist and that is currently based in Toronto. And all of his pieces are abstract yet figurative. And he uses a very brush stroke kind of scraping technique to create these thick layers that you see. Wow. And all of his work is centered around the black experience both in America and Africa. And it's meant to be a trinity between the artist and the viewer as well as the art itself. So everything that you see seems meant to be a reflection of what you experience in your own life as well as what he has put into the process of creating this piece before. These are very interesting. Yes. Let's see. Now there's a lot of work by Gregory Saint Armand. So yes, yeah, so Gregory, he is born in New York but is of Haitian descent. And Gregory's pieces all go back to his childhood of being in Haiti. And that's why you see the 1804 to represent the Haitian Revolution. And then you see a lot of patterns with peppers as an ode to his grandmother because she used to have a garden where she would grow peppers and then she would then cook with them. Oh. And so this is just an ode and a celebration of the heritage and the love languages that we grow to develop and love through our families and our shared experiences. This is beautiful stuff. And such vibrant colors too with the... Now, Saran Green, my viewers, will probably remember from that other video I did. It's nice to see Saran's work back. So, yes, Saran Green, he is a Newark, New Jersey native. And again, all of his pieces, these are all works on paper, are black on black. And it forces the viewer to fully interact and engage at what they're looking at. Very, very, gotta look very closely because, you know, that out all handmade by himself. He's a self-taught artist and so it again it forces you to read out loud what you are viewing that way you can fully digest what it is it's trying to convey to you and then also connect it back to your life. That's great. So how's the show been so far? It's only the second day. It's really the first public day. They had it's the big party last right. night. The big party it was crowded, it was packed, people were of great spirits and just looking to celebrate and appreciate this artistry of these amazing three artists. Um, today is the first full day so we're really excited about the people who have come in, building those connections, um, meeting people from all around the world, we love from Italy, from London. Also it's a loaded house. I love it. Deja, thanks so much for talking to me. It's always a pleasure to meet new faces and uh, and talk to them about what's going on in their world. I appreciate you. All right, my dear friends, that's going to let me get down to the nitty gritty of saying goodbye. <laughs> Here's how we do it. You do me free three favors. You're going to go and say uh, subscribe to the channel, click that there notification bell, and like and leave a comment on the video. From the Affordable Art Fair and the Tanya Wedemeyer Gallery, I remain your humble host, Ken Pierce. See you next time. Bye.